All hell of bid, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. In today's video, we're discussing four weird, strange, or dare I say unbelievable fragrance ingredients. So as many of you may or may not have noticed, your fragrances don't come with, well, a complete ingredients list. In most cases, when you're purchasing fragrances, you're just gonna get a glimpse of some of the ingredients that fragrance houses. Traditionally, you'll see things like water, alcohol, blah, blah, blue and all, and a bunch of other ingredients we can't pronounce. Now, it's understandable why all the fragrance ingredients aren't exactly spelled out, but some ingredients are just plain out weird. So today, we're discussing four weird ingredients found in your fragrances. Now, there are thousands of ingredients available to be used in fragrances, but we seem to be drawn to just a few. Historically, animal essence, whether secretions, digestions, or excretions have been staple fragrance ingredients for many of our most popular and best-selling fragrances on the market today. Additionally, they are some of the most expensive ingredients as well. So what exactly is so alluring about these ingredients? Is it because they're exotic? Maybe they're a little bit more complex, or maybe, or maybe it's just our own primal instincts. So without further ado, let's hop into the list. Number four, is musk. Now musk is an animalistic note that is found in many of our most popular fragrances today. And when I say many, I mean almost all. Now naturally, musk is a complex aroma and it varies greatly in its natural state in terms of description. Some variations of musk may be creamy, spicy, or sweet. Now we talk about musk and fragrances a lot, but the use of natural musk in fragrances was discontinued long ago, maybe in the 70s or 80s. So needless to say that musk used in today's fragrances are synthetic and they help for less expensive fragrances as well. Number three, is civet. Now the civet used in fragrances is a paste-like substance excreted from the civet itself. Now I'm not sure what family of animals the civet falls in, but I do know it kind of looks like a cat. They have these long funny looking muzzles and these weird tails as well. Now as you may or may not expect, the civet paste is excreted from the civet's anal glands. Now, I can't claim to have ever smelled civet in the raw or civet excretion in the raw, which is fine by me, but it is rumored to smell exactly like shit. Now, when it's reduced and diluted, the civet paste is uh, said to come off as sweet and musky. Now, although civet paste harvesting is legal and it still occurs, most of the civet notes that you're going to see in fragrances come from a synthetic blend called Civ Tone. So you can rest assured that no animals were harmed in the process of making your fragrance. Number two comes from Castronium. You guys have heard me talk about Castorium before in the Dark Rebel video, which I will link below or here if you want to check it out. Historically in fragrances, Castorium is known as what many perfumers may call the ultimate leather scent. Now, castorium is very reminiscent to leather and is used in many leather-based fragrances. Castorium comes from the castor sex of the male and female beavers. Now, you guys may or may not know this, but beavers are extremely territorial and they are aggressive to those who come into their space. Now, they use this castorium to, one, mark their territory, and two, you know, show that booth thing, it's time to get busy. Now, despite where the castorium is extracted from, it settles down into a mellow, sweet, clean leather. It's also responsible for a few exotic and erotic spicy and amber-like notes and fragrances as well. Now, from my understanding, there is a synthetic blend of castorium out there to use in fragrances, but many of our high-end luxury fragrance companies Go for the real thing. Now, remember, in order for this to be used in your fragrance in its natural state, the beaver must be killed and harvested. And the number one animal ingredient used in fragrances today, number one, and now some of you guys might not find this to be a surprise, but it's ambergris. Now again, I wasn't expecting this one to be a huge surprise to many of you guys out there because you know, like I know, this 
is used in many of our luxury fragrance lines out there. So some of you guys out there may know that ambergris is a wax-like substance that's found in the intestines and stomachs of the sperm whale. But here's something that you may not have known, that the ambergris only occurs in about one of 100 sperm whales out there. That's crazy. Which means it's even more rare than we initially thought. Or at least I initially thought. I thought that sperm whales was just, you know, putting ambergris all over the place. Another thing that's often talked about in the fragrance community is how the ambergris is found. How we get it. And most of us thought, that, or at least I was told, that it was <laughs> hurled by the sperm whale. But no! It starts in their stomach as a growth. And it's like a sickness that they can die from. But they actually poop it out. They just... <laughs> and when you get the finest ambergris, it develops into this sweet, musky odor that, you know, kind of combines perfumery with the ocean. Those are my top four weird fragrance ingredients. Let me know what you think is your weirdest fragrance ingredients. Is it from my list or do you have your own? Comment below and let me know. I'm your boy, Big Bid B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend that we back again. And don't be as weird as these fragrance ingredients. Hit the goddamn bell.